Maybe I'm just too demanding. Come on now. Maybe I'm just like my father, too bold. Maybe I'm just like my mother. She's what? She's never said, and she's never satisfied. This is the beginning of something fresh. Hopefully, we'll get Terrence Gangsta on episode soon. I don't know if you want to talk. Fuck but. it, we jagging. Yeah. Uh, let's toast um, to the inaugural episode of One Gotta Go with uh, featuring Jaguar Wright. Let's go. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Mm. So, welcome, man. Uh, it's your boy, uh, you know, real life. Y'all know what peaches do to my mouth. <laughs> oh, oh, we already started. We already started. I'm going to start with glasses off. We we gonna start with glasses Ooh, off. I'm a pee. We ain't hiding today. We ain't hiding today. Hey, oh, fuck it. We outside. Um, so today we're playing a game called One Gotta Go. Basically, okay. I'm gonna put up a list. It might be four, it might be two, it might be three. Um, but the goal is to, I'm gonna explain uh, who mm -hmm. they are. So let me say who they are. I feel like know. I need to get comfortable. Oh yeah, please, please get comfortable. Please get comfortable. We having a conversation. Y'all know they hate time. it when I do my yoga. Yeah, hey, this right here is They liberal. can't stand to see your old bitch fold up. This is <laughs> this, this is living room yes. talk right here. This is living room talk right here. Yeah. Um, and uh um. basically as we speak on it, I want you to not only say which one gotta go, but why they gotta go. Okay. Um, and why the other one so gotta go. So basically stay. just be myself and answer honestly. Answer honestly, okay. answer honestly, you know. We're gonna go for the juggler. So um OD and shout out OD in the building. Yeah. Uh, yeah, shout out OD in the building. Uh, yeah. We have Terrence oh, Gangster Williams. We gotta have oh, yeah. a oh yeah. And we got Terrence Gangster Williams in the house behind the scenes. Uh and it, it's 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 a, it's a situation. It's a situation. It's so good to see him in, in the flesh. No, hey, when he said, hey, I it's said so Jags here. Uh, I'm glad he called and said, man, uh, call, let me know when Jags there. I and, hate it, I missed that party. Oh. But you know, it could have been worse. My car could have got blown up. Oh no, that happened the next month. Oh, we're gonna, we gonna, we gonna come right back mm -hmm. to that. All right, so let's do it like this, man. Mm -hmm. This show was called One Gotta Go, and uh, OD, go ahead, go ahead and kick us off with the first with the first list, man. Go and throw it on the screen if you can. Mm. Oh, so we have uh, Diddy, Jiggerman, 50 Cent, and Dr. Dre. Now one has, who apparently has become a real doctor, and they put his name it, it, on an award yeah, and I gave see he it was, um, to Nasquiat. Yeah, yeah, a real doctor. Because Basquiat, he is not <laughs> Nasquiat. <got it. laughs> so no, think about it like this, Jack. One got a dope goal. Jay Z. All, wait, in all their music, all their businesses, all their works, all their endorsements. Jay Z. Deals. So, so quick. Why Jay Z? Jay Z. Because he's the only one on that list that didn't earn any of his accomplishments. Now, you did. Dr. Dre is undeniable as a producer. 50 Cent is undeniable, not just as an MC and a battle rapper, but as a businessman and an artist and an actor as well. Even Diddy mm. knew how to fucking, you know, he's the goddamn J. Edgar Hoover of hip hop. Mm. He knew how to use his duplicitous manner to choreograph people to do whatever he wanted them to do. And that's his greatness. Duplicitous manner. <laughs> no, that is, that's a skill. Very that's duplicitous. Art. That's a skill. That's an art. To choreograph human beings, to know for a fact that they're going to do whatever the fuck you say because that's how terrible you are. Yeah, they say... Uh, when so imagine what it was like for him when he realized Cassie wasn't going to back down. That's why he settled so fast. He didn't think she was going to go through it. Who do you respect it. more? The man that goes to get the water for the village or the man who convinces the whole village to go get it for themselves and bring it to him? The latter. Hey. Yeah. Hey. So wait, on our interview, you said Jay-Z's reasonable doubt was workable. One of my favorites. So that means you're saying that that doesn't exist. You're good with I'm, that. I'm saying that whatever he was pretending to be was extremely authentic in that moment. But the reason why was because his muse was De Haven. So the only thing he was doing was mimicking in written word what he was stealing from his so-called best friend. Mm -hmm. And then he convinced that, sa that same friend to take a charge for him that would definitely change the course of who he became, promising to look out, take care of, and make sure that everything would the balance of power would be restored upon his return 
And then the nigga stopped answering his phone calls and, and told his mom to fuck off. So let me ask you, um, do you- He stole his life. We have Terrence Gangs in the building, right? Yeah. He's one of the original hot boys to where yes. they made a whole record label based on some of the actions and life one that he was living. One of the best independents to go major, one of the best that ever did it. Salute. So if someone else mimics or talks about someone else's life that they've seen, do you look at them any You mean less? like Rose? <laughs> <laughs> Jack and Freeway, Ricky Ho um, you know, exists. Rose ain't on the list, man. God damn, you go ahead. You gonna throw Rose? Catch a stray? He can put it on there. <laughs> he can oh, put okay. it on there. Okay. Yeah, like uh, you know, Rose that folded over, bitch. You know, he, he gets inspired by what someone else. Yeah, he was so works. inspired, he pretended to be that nigga until somebody called him on his fake ass G, and then he went running around looking like a Buddha with his shirt off. Oh. Beating on little bitches, singing about pass me the sage. Oh. I don't get it. God. Damn, okay. Like that's what, that's the kind of trauma your penis induces. That a bitch is begging for sage oh. after being with you. Mm, God damn. Oh, man. okay, 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 okay. We're going to come back to that. We're going to go on. I'm sorry. Yeah, Did we sideline? Nah, nah, I like it, I like it, I like it. We're going <laughs> to. I like, we're gonna pick back up on that one, but let's go to the next one real quick. Um, Fuck you, Rick. OD, can you bring up the screen for the next one? Mm. One gotta go. We have. Mary J. Black. Oh, shit, man. We got it. All right, let me, for the audience, let me just speak who they are. Um, we have Jill Scott. Four. Erica Badu. Which. Faith Evans. My cousin. And Mary J. Blige. That fucking cut. Wait a minute. This, again, this is her music, her works, her acting. That bitch don't do shit. Not gonna cry. Not love. What's uh, waiting to exhale? Th Faith that doesn't exist. Faith would have sounded better singing them. She wrote them. Damn, I didn't even know that. Damn. Shit. Let me get you straight. Okay, yeah, please. Oh my god, because I'm I'm going back to the four one one, and I'm gonna give you the four one one right now. You, you let Diddy's. I'm gonna give you the four one one right now. Okay. 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 Ooh. Yeah, sorry, man. Mary J. Blige dancing. Oh. Oh. Oh, I know where this go. Oh. Hold on, do it. Yo. If you have, you know, I can plug you in and we could. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, put, 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 oh, wait. What kind, of, what kind of charge you got? What kind of charge you got? C. Oh, you got the C. Oh, boy. Oh, I'll plug it back in. Ah, okay, you see. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all see? Yeah, yeah. And they say, go, Mary. Make it a fucking fool of herself. Look at this boy. I, I wish the bitch had a slip. But just, what would you be doing out there? What would you? What? Not that. Not shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. No. Oh, 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 with the lean, with the lean. Oh, damn. So you're saying all her dance moves got to go too? No, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what. I'm gonna show you where she learned it. Damn. Okay. I'm gonna show you where this fucking. Man. Ma Sal. Mary and all her dance moves gotta Fucking gotta get a pig, move. bitch. Mm -mm. I can't stand a pig. Mm. I look at a, um, would you say Mary's more accomplished than Jill Scott? Nah. At least Jill did some of her shit. Oh. You uh, know, she only stole like 25%. She did a bulk of it, though. Uh, uh, I'm gonna show. You. Wait a minute. Wait. No, no, wait, 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 wait. We're talking as you're looking. Uh, Erica yeah. Badu. Um, Which? What'd you say? Casting spells on people. She Man. should be arrested for what she done to Andre three thousand. Fucked up. You know they just gave her a bus in Dallas. You yeah. Know? You know what? They need to lock her on and just drive her around in circles. <laughs> <laughs> Take her on a tour. All the shit she neglected and fucked over. You know you in Dallas, Jack. Right? Shout out to Jack. Uh, huh? You know you in Dallas. Y'all know they kill presidents here? Oh. You know, fuck. <laughs> Jagonator. <laughs> when the Jagonator comes out, it's... I don't get no fuck. This way, I'm going to show you this way the bitch learned it. Jag is up. Ah, oh, no Diddy. Ah, oh, no Diddy, no doubt. Oh, man, you got Diddy doing the... You got Diddy doing the... The Diddy do I bop. Come on, man. Oh, man. Good knees. The, 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 Good knees in Beijing. Yeah. <laughs> the, bad, the bad boy era. The bad boy Diddy era. Diddy Glover. 
the bad boy era. Um, Fucker. Uh, you, wait, you said Faith Evans uh, was my a writer cousin. in his family. Yeah. Um, so do you feel like she reached her heights based on- No, she never saw anywhere near close to it. Damn, based on her talent or based on just her moves she made? Because she wasn't a- Based tor- on her handicap. <laughs> What's her? Being a plant. Mm. marrying Biggie to keep him away from Kim so that they couldn't take over the power structure of bad boy while Puffy was trying to instill his total and full dominance. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Forcing her to interact with Tupac, even though that's where she would have preferred to be. I can see that. She seemed genuine happy. Yeah. She seemed genuinely happy. Um, do you think she ever came up from under the shadow of Biggie's death? God, no. Damn. Never will. Damn. Ask her son how he felt after she married his godfather. That did happen. For a TV show. That shit was crazy. Uh, Fuck Mona Scott, too. Oh, man. Yeah, no, she's going to pimp again. She's going to pimp it how she pimps it. Uh, oh, I guess she needs to do something. I guess that's why she, you know, she got the white man. All right, all right. Let's have, let's have some fun with it now, oh, man. man. Uh, OD, one got to go. Let's pull up the next one. Um, and I'm going to shout out who these are. We have a uh, new addition. H-Town. Boys to men. This is the toughest one yet. Let go me back, go back to it. Uh, uh, boys to men, Jodeci. And all their music, all their hits does not exist. Let me see it again. One gotta go. New edition. I'm talking about this is Bell Biv. Bobby. This is hard. Uh, this is no, Gid, Johnny Gibbs. This is gonna be hard. Come on now. Come on now. Because I got my opinion on it. No, you. this is gonna be hard. Go and I'm really putting my Philly card on the line. <laughs> okay. Okay. But boys to men. Mm. Boys to men. Put it up again. Let me make sure. Oh, man. Ah. H-Town Houston official. You know, it's crazy. They ran into hard times because they got caught between. But the truth is that they had had a chance to really make a good go of it. They could have been just as big as Joe to see or, or New Edition. They could have been. Yeah, life cut short. Um, they don't get to see the heights of knocking your boots. Not come the on. body rocking. Body man. rocking, man. Come on. The now. body yachty. They um, was the body yachty before the fucking man, uh, Megan bitch. Yeah, I low key would have said H Town could go because they didn't reach. No, the heights. no, they um, were they were handicapped. Yeah. <laughs> if they had been allowed to go, I'm telling you, they would have far superseded what most people would have thought. They were extremely. Wait, talented. when you say handicapped, you're not talking about the lead singer die. You're talking about in the business. I'm, or? Yeah, I'm talking about Luther Campbell. Oh, okay. Luther Campbell was the worst thing that ever happened to them. Mm. Tell fucking me gatekeeping ass oh. piece of shit. Sympathy for the fucking hashtag no diddy. Oh man, okay. I looked at shit. Um, <laughs> but do you know there's not a boys to miss uh, song for Mama? New edition. New yeah, edition. Yeah, yeah, you got you. Got, you leave them alone. You got to leave them alone. And then within do a new edition, you got. Can't trust the big butt and the smile, BBD. You got BBD right You got there. that folded in, and then, you know, the entrance of Johnny Gell, and then the reemergence of Bobby Brown. It is it is black R&B, pop culture royalty. They are the only black band to ever rival the kind of fan devotion that the Beatles have. Like, you... you <laughs> That, that, it, that, that's a that's a closer. That's, that's a, close, a, closer. That's a closer. At eighty five with a fucking oxygen mask, motherfuckers. BBD, it's where it's going down. Wait, a, a concert with mostly women. Do you close with New Edition or close with Jodeci? New Edition. Over Jodeci. Still in love. With all women. Still in love. Oh, come on, I'm still yeah, in love on, with. They man, don't have that. Come on, man. Oh, I feel. Who got that? I Nobody mean, got that. Freaking you, though. I mean, you know, we're talking like, we're yeah, about, it's nice. Friday night. It's, it's, it's freaking you in the freak off. That might be a little yeah, fucked yeah, off. Shit, oh, shit. Okay, yeah. These days. <laughs> I'm still <laughs> in love with you. I mean, it's featured in how many movies? Like, it's, oh, okay. that's new edition. And, and it's boys, crazy. Boys, Every, to men can, boys to Men cannot contend with that. No, they can't. They can't. Now. They had their run. Jodeci. They brought it. Yeah, Jodeci came in with hip hop. Uh, when hip hop. Listen to me. Because this is my era, this is my contemporary era. In this moment now, even as an adult woman pushing 50, my answer will be the same as it was in the 90s when people would ask me, boys to men or Joe to see. Joe to see. Devontae Swain. Come on. 
single-handedly Come on now. changed R&B hip hop. Come on. Mr. Dow. Diary of a Mad. Wait, uh, one of them did- uh, Nigga, stop! Uh, one of them married an R&B, one of them married a- uh, Who the fuck knows what that uh, is? One of them married Mary J, Tia or something? One, Mr. Casey, Dow? Casey and Mary was together. Casey they was, and Mary was together. They was Bobby and Whitney before Bobby and before Whitney. Before Bobby and Whitney, me. yeah. They was at the yeah. war shows together. Uh, Mr. Shit, Dowling they was at the crack house together somebody. too. I forgot who it was. Do you believe in love? Hitting that rock. That rock. Ah, mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm. Mm. Yes. Fuck their asses what you all pulling, up. What you pulling up? Oh, 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 we, oh we gonna wait This is what we gonna do. Gonna this is what we gonna do. How, how we gonna play it? Mm-mm-mm-mm. How we gonna play it? That's what we going to do. Oh. Oh. Hold on, wait a minute. I need to get to the album. I need the album. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. I want to love you for life. Yeah. And what? I would rather end hear the- that. I would rather hear that than End of the Road. Mmm. Mmm, you saying I something? would rather hear love you. But- yeah. <laughs> Listen to me. Yeah. Yeah. Casey. Wanye sing his Jojo. ass. Listen to me. Wanye sing his ass off. Come on, man. He's uh, run they used to call him the- all fucking day. And guess what? Guess what the most famous riff of nigga niggas on, in on. the 90s is? What's the most famous riff? Who is? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Stolen. That shit's so cold, them little motherfuckers <laughs> still doing it now. Uh, one of the best Martin episodes. Tell uh, me which Martin versus Jodeci. T- who is yeah. that? Ooh, Wait yeah. a minute. <laughs> who, the fuck, who the fuck does that with boy cement riffs? Yeah. Nobody. Yeah. Wanna know why? No individuality. They were made to they, be pop. Uh, sex and appeal. pop only. No did, person. Did boys and men have sex appeal? Was anybody like. I mean, they was fucking. <laughs> they was fucking. I don't know if they had sex appeal, <laughs> but they was definitely <laughs> they, they fucking. Was, shit. Shit, that one girl married. um. Mike. Yeah. And he and she knew he was sick and she ran through all his fucking money. It was God. so disgusting. Nah. When Jill bought their house, because Jill got it on the cheap because it was riddled with motherfucking um termites. Oh shit. Like I went with her the day to go do the survey and they had to take eighty thousand dollars off the price of the house off the top just That's for the termites. Damn foundation. Like Jill literally had to spend like cold like 45k cash just to do the termite damage. Oh. But she ended up saving about two hundred and fifty thousand dollars overall on the house. Oh. But and they needed the money because that damn soul food restaurant that his wife did it the soul food wasn't fooding. The well, food was And I forget, food. there was one of the Listen divorce. to me, you would go yeah. there at 1030 and order a tur- a smothered turkey wing platter with cabbage, you know what I'm saying, yeah. cornbread and rice. And guess what? You ordered at 1030, so you could be one of the first orders and ask me when you got your food. When you were here? Six o'clock. What the fuck? You literally had to call it opening to get your dinner on time. That's how late they was. Damn. Damn, Okay. Yeah, black. Uh, I, I try to the support black owned business. The fucking laughing stock, the laughing stock of Voorhees. I try to support black owned business. Um, uh, right, well, let's Wanye let's whooping his baby mom ass on the lawn and shit. Niggas was like, they was fucking. I don't know if they were sex symbols, but I tell you one thing: you put Casey and Mary together, you add a little crack and a whole lot of E and J. Mm. Them niggas being there whooping, hollering. Mm. Yeah. Uh, th- this one if be- loving you is all that I have to do, come on now. I don't want to do anything hey. else. Right when it come on. That crack? Hey. Yeah. Oh, man. Had him going. I'm Mr. Darwin, Casey. Who yeah. is I'm telling you. No, I'm just I'm There's gonna, nothing I'm like the who yeah. Ain't nothing like the who yeah. There's no who yeah. Uh, in There's the 90s, no who yeah. that was it. In Period. the 90s. Wait a minute. You could shut it down. You could shut it down with just this interlude. And don't ever give you that. And then it goes right into that shit. And then it goes into that. Nigga. Think of the concerts. If you ain't ever been to a Jodeci concert. And fucking love the smell of like yeah. niggas. Come on, man. Ah, yeah. <laughs> All the things you told. All right, all right. Okay, you took hey. it. You took it. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. My bad, my bad. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. I'm going to pause. I'm going to wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, YouTube, YouTube. Nigga. They'll tell you, hey, we... 
Shit. Now. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Now. Yeah, boy, some men gotta go. All right, let's go. Yeah. I don't deal. Let's bring it up, man. This is uh, some of Diddy's creations, man. That, uh, did you feel that feeling? No, nah, I felt that. No, I, did you feel that? No. I won't know. I, I'm glad we're leading this to the weekend because it's yeah. yeah, going on the playlist right now, man, if it ain't already on it. So, yeah, boys and men ain't got no who yeah. So Diddy had created five groups, or four groups, maybe more. Yeah. But as you can see, top left, Daddy D. Kane, the boy group B5. Victims. Making the band and then day 26. Baby freak off victim. Oh man, hold on. Victim. Wait. God damn. Victim, victim. Who you pointed? Oh, wait, wait, you just pointed. And victims. I damn, just all victims. you see is victims. Yeah, oh, that's all shit. I see. Okay, which victims gotta go then? God damn. I mean, hell, they all need help, I guess. Uh, I would say the little boys, because I never even seen them niggas. Yeah, they yeah. I don't even know who it they never are. Took, yeah, it never quite took off. Um they got stories. Like to tell shit, it, I even know Dan that he came. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think that was the last of Shepard. But that bottom row, ooh, the victim. Making the band. The victimization. Day 26. Um, do you feel like all these guys have stories to tell? Shout that out just... to my little baby, D'Angelo it... Redman, from making the band. Oh, man, yeah. He, Hashtag he did... no diddy. God. Do you feel, because a few, Danity Kane, I forget her name, Aubrey. Uh, some she of them, hustling. Yeah, some of them spoke. I think I'm, she's giving me Janice Dickinson vibes. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Um, what do you feel stops some of these people from speaking their truth when all this stuff is coming out? About Money. Them? The and lack pride. of the... Um... Either way. And mm. pride. Yeah. Nobody wants to admit they a sucker. Yeah, because we saw Diddy film each of these acts come together. He put it on Making the Battle on MTV. They gave him a huge bag to make these characters yeah, come Yeah, and, to and he gave them nothing. Yeah. I wonder what happened when the cameras cut off. Like... What do you mean? Like, None of them knew that they were in shows until the first episode was about to come out. He was just randomly filming them. They had no idea they were a part of shows. They true. didn't know. Young kids know, don't know how they to read contracts. Know. He gave them $5,000 and said, hey, here I, I'm putting a band together. Do you want to be on Bad Boy? And they said, okay. And they did everything that he asked. And then they found out that he had filmed it all and they had been editing the entire time he was going. It was like doing Big Brother without anybody knowing they were competing. That is, that's kind of crazy. No, but that's, how that's kind of real. Wait, no, that's how labels do you though. I mean, is that a, I that's, don't know. The, Not all just, just a, The music industry is there to pimp you and work off your uh, ignorance. If you're ignorant to anything, oh, they're gonna play into that. Why do you think they call me a bitch? Because uh, you know too much. Why do you think they, they told me I was difficult? You know too much. Yeah, that part. Yeah, okay. Uh, B5 got to go. Okay, okay. Let's, let's keep playing. Yeah, let's keep I don't playing. know them. Uh, oh, okay. Let's go with this one. OD, let's bring it up. Let's bring it up. You have Ronald Reagan, the first George Bush, the second George Bush, and Donald Trump, man. All of our latest Republicans. One got to go in all their works, all their deeds, all, every, every bill they pass, every bill they didn't pass, uh, their whole era. George W. Bush, the five. The father? Yeah. That's uh 1988 to 1992. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, th those were go. good years for you? Though? Daddy gotta go. Daddy gotta go. Yeah, because he raised Junior. Oh shit. Yeah, right. If if he yeah, yeah. If he goes in the whole the whole situation. And everybody likes Junior. In Texas, Junior's they, in a Texas, fun guy. In Texas, they love Junior. Junior's a fun guy. Yeah, in high school. And it ain't his fault. <laughs> he just went with it. Like, I can't be it. mad at that nigga for just running with him. Dad, I'm supposed to be president? <laughs> and not only that, shout out to his mom, Barbara Bush. I, her memoir was really, really, really lovely um, about her being lucky to marry the man that she married and not only be the first lady, but give birth to a president as well. And just talking true. about how lucky she was and all of the people that she got to meet and Places she got to go, and when you, I never looked you at put it, it that yeah, when you way put it like before. that, I never looked at it like that. She said, "I just signed up to marry a rich oil guy. I had no idea I was signing up to be first lady, and, and then give birth, give birth to, to, to president. another president. Exactly. Oh, like man. I, I gained a whole that, other respect for Barbara Bush just because of that. That may not be repeated in history. I don't give, I don't no. give respect to that. You're right. The Bush family and the Hunt family, they are institution. This is Texas." You know, I did uh, a little homework, and again, I'm, I'm far removed from school. But yeah, school, daddy got to go. He raised you. He should have okay. spent more time with you. That's a Desert Storm, right? That's a little bit of Desert Storm right there. Um, mm. uh, That's Gaddafi. 
That's the SNL scandal. No, I mean that's a lot. The the young ju- Junior doesn't go after Saddam. Junior if Daddy brought, did. If Junior Daddy didn't win. got arrested mulin kilos yeah. from Tijuana. <laughs> they try to talk about that. They try. They try to talk about that. <laughs> Junior was. Wipe convic- that the bus. <laughs> Junior was convicted. Yeah. For the SNL scandal. Mm. All that money him. And the Prince of Darkness stole out of savings and loan, which is why I will never draw a social security check. I can't be mad at Junior. Somebody put him in play. Mm. I got to blame his daddy. Ronald Reagan is Ronald Reagan. It's Ronald Reagan. It's Ronald Reagan. You know, that's that's like saying, you know, you hate McDonald's. Like, you can hate it if you want to. It's institution. Uh, um, he started the crack, you know. Uh, who was the other white who, man up there? Trump. Trump. Yeah. Why yeah, not Trump? You know, why, why did Trump get to say? He, he's a Kanye West of politics. I ain't got no problem with he's him. A he's a necessary evil. Yeah, he's a celebrity. I, I still he's look a, at no, Trump fu- as a celebrity. I don't even see him as a celebrity anymore. I see him as an idea, like a figure. Really? Yeah. Like he's a symbol for stupidity. You don't still see um, what's his, what's the game show we had? Uh, uh, I forget the name of it. What's the name the of the Apprentice? show? The Apprentice. The Apprentice. You don't see him just as the head of... I still see him as the host of The Apprentice. Just, you know how I see him? Go ahead. In a ball gag. Oh, shit. Moaning his daughter's name. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. See, uh, I know that nigga. No, oh, shit. Uh, okay. I had a girl that was owning. I still got pictures, video oh, shit. of him dressing up a very light skin sex worker that went by the name of Paris who worked with Amber Rose at Delilah's in Philadelphia. We went to junior high school together. She's Kamal's cousin. She's fucked dog shit out of Trump and his son and he always made her dress up and he would call her Ivanka. My God today. Yeah, only, only with Jaguar, right? Only with Jaguar. We're gonna get you a refill. We're gonna get you a refill. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna. Yeah. Can I get a, a refill? <laughs> All right, let's, let's do a refill. Uh, I know that nigga. Uh, let, 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 I stand on business. Uh, let, let's take a quick break. We Donald to... Wombo. Yeah, man, <laughs> goddamn. I'm telling with that ball gag. Ooh, it's it's fucking amazing. First half is done. And I'm we're not come saying right back. allegedly. I done seen that nigga paste the ass. Wish I had enough. Mm, God damn. She I changed. promise you one thing. They ever take me into a federal office, I bet you I'll walk out. Grab him by the pussy. That didn't, that didn't fuck you up. As a woman, grab him by the pussy. I mean, at least he's telling the truth. Yeah, I mean, nah, yeah, yeah. You ain't see him on Epstein yeah. uh, flight list. Nah, right. Facts. He flew his own plane. I respect the truth. <laughs> he said he flew his own plane. He said... He gonna get there somehow. Like, I'll meet you there, goddamn it. Yeah, well, he ready to go. He ready to go. Beat me there. No Don't Jeffrey. meet me there, goddamn it. <laughs> okay, uh, we gonna let's let's refill you real quick, okay. and we gonna finish the second half. Thank you, Jack. You- um. Okay. Uh. L- l- yeah. Let's get to it. Uh, Od. If you he don't said, mind. I refuse. I, I plead the fifth. This is about to get a little fun. Now, <laughs> yeah, he said he refused. As he said, I plead the fifth. <laughs> we about to have a little fun now. Um. The roots. <laughs> For the, those that don't know, let's, let's let's go down the list. Let's uh, a tribe called Quest, De La Soul, the food. Shout out the consequence. <laughs> In the roots, one got to go in all the music. roots. Now, Jack, the roots have some. They stopped being considered a rap band when they became the minstrel show band for the Jimmy Fuck Ass Show on NBC. <sighs> See, everybody else in there is hip-hop royalty. They're fucking the minstrel show band. Mm. Would you say they got more famous? They're cooning! Mm. Mm. Lauren Hill might change her nationality with every new piece of penis <laughs> that comes into her life, but that bitch can write! Mm. Without question. She can sing, and, and when they fucking turned on her, she still managed to push on yes. through all the persecution. Which is amazing, because that could- tribe called Quest is literally the the blueprint for the Dirty Backpackers, as Wendy Williams dubbed us in our our contemporary time, De La Soul. Come on, man. come on. The fuck is eighties hip hop without, without De La Soul? What that, the fuck did what's the, the sound? Do? Yeah, what's the sound with that? What the fuck did the Roots do other other than fuck over Malik B? Oh. And disrespect Jaguar, right? Mm. Mm. 
and you, allegedly killed their manager. Do you blame them for going late night? The, the exposure's there. Do you blame them for taking the that The exposure's gig? there, and yet they still don't sell more records. Yes. Fuck good is exposure doing you if it ain't helping you? Not using your favor. Not using your favor. No. They wanted to be down with the wackest nigga that was ever on fucking SNL. <laughs> That's your <Yeah>. thing? <laughs> That's your claim. <laughs> hey. We're the band for the wackest motherfucker that was ever on fucking SNL. Cocaine. Hey. <laughs> Got hey. you fucked up, fuck ass. And it's crazy because, you know, shout out. Bustle and I want my check, NBC, Ooh. for using my song free on the medical show. What was the hospital well, show? ER, General Hospital? No. Uh, um, it was a real, the hospital uh, show. Uh, a real show. Um, yeah, not not Grey's Anatomy, but it oh, was on you got NBC. Anything? Hospital show? It was on NBC, the hospital uh, show, and they had the guy. Real show? Uh, the guy from uh, the. The, the main the no, guy from, no, no, not the autistic doctor. Not the good no, no, doctor. No, 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 no. It's later. It's older. I know it's what you're talking the, about. The motherfucker. He, when you said he the guy, came, the main guy. He came from the show, uh, The Blacklist. He came from The Blacklist, yeah. and he got a, a medical show playing a doctor. He, the, uh, yeah, the guy. Uh, I know. It's not Chicago. It's the other one. And it's not the hope. I keep saying ER. Man. You know what the fuck I'm saying. See, they got we so many fucking hey, goddamn hey, hospital yeah, shows. Shit, I, goddamn it. Yeah, put it. Y'all know what we're talking about. Y'all put it. Y'all put it in man. So the roost is gone. They fucking uh. had my goddamn song. They scored the whole opening of this shit and they fucking gave a check to somebody else. Mm. Uh. Uh. They robbed me. Shluminati. Luminati. They robbed. Is there, is there anybody is there anybody fucking with anybody like helping you get that shit back or anything like that? Oh, I have attorneys. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's rock. What's up, what's ladies? Good, what's good? What's good? What's good? Gentlemen. What's good? Gentlemen and lady. Oh, we're right. We're live. Yeah, we we're live. live. All right. Let's go, let's go and go next. Od, Od, pull up, pull up, pull up the next one. Let's go ahead and go with it. One gotta go. Fuck the roots. God damn. And anybody that go to that fucking roots picnic shit this year, I paid. It's already done. Oh man. You walk in that fucking gate with a ticket or to buy a ticket, and I'ma have a bunch of fucking miners with super soakers and cat piss spraying you bitches. Yeah, oh, man. Okay, okay, okay. All right, what's it? All of them cat piss. Anybody walking in hole gonna walk out smelling like cat piss. All right. Well, let's do it then. Um, fuck they gonna do? Put kids in jail for hitting a super soaker? What the fuck they gonna do? Oh, that'd be horrible. Y'all be some pissy motherfuckers. Go that shit if you want to. Fuck the picnic. All right, Jack. One gotta go in all their works. Let me see that again. So we have a Jimmy. Lee or Co. Oh, shit. I gotta, I gotta say who they are. Abner Bromowitz. Uh, Jimmy Iovine. Leo Cohen, Cohen. Clive Davis. Barry Gordy. Leo Cohen. Now, this is all his work. You two music. Fuck that Jew bitch. Uh, um, shit. So his, all his, you say he, Jay-Z. All that is. Damn. Leo, shit. All right. All right. Clive Davis. Whitney Houston. He, he's good. No, I want him to live so I can fucking take him down. Oh, shit. Okay. Um. Damn, all right. Uh, I want to be known for that. Um, I want to be known for putting that queen to rest. Oh, man. Oh, man. Long live the queen, huh? Mm. Queen Clive. Damn. And your fucking diddy do up, bop, bitch. Barry Gordon, we're sorry, man. I mean, I mean, uh, Jimmy, I've been very good. They, they, they did a lot. Uh, I mean, they Motown. are what they are. Listen to me, you're asking me to choose which devil is the nicest. Yeah, that's really fucked up. Um, fucking Satan, Satan, or Satan. Yeah, yeah. I'll take Satan <laughs> for 200. <laughs> what level of Satan? What level of Satan is this? I saying? want medium Satan, medium spicy, caliente. All right, and uh, uh, Jalen, what's up, man? JC, what's up, man? Rook, you could, you could try, you could chime in too, man. If any, uh, whatever y'all got, let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. All right, I don't know if this gets harder or easier. One got to go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. For the kids that don't know at home, let's go back. We have Usher, all his music, all his concerts, dance moves, tick, tick and tick, all that shit. Um, Chris Brown, all the dancing, the music, Rihanna slap, all that, nothing happens. R. Kelly, uh, you, you got to go there. And of course, Jamie Foxx. This is his movies and his music. Usher has to go. Usher has to go. 
Now what? Um, Kim Kardashian's heart. Wait, 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 what? Wait, what? <laughs> wait, uh, and oh, is this TMZ knows this? Um, Kim Kardashian was very happy, thinking that she's gonna be able to ride Odell Beckham all the way to the top again. Oh, and then Justin Bieber had to give him that wet one. Oh man! And Justin Bieber broke him up. Oh man! He got his dick sucked by a Bieber at the club, and Trey Songz on the lookout. And the next thing you know, he don't want Kardashian no more. Oh man! What's... He don't want her no more. That, listen to me. That that Bieber, that Bieber. But Usher though, is his shit. Usher, 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 the one that not, took him to the flavor fucking kitty freak off. Now you, you're talking nice. He as made well. him the dick sucking hoe he is today. Broke Kim Kardashian pride. You're talking nice and slow. Gotta go. Okay. All right. All right. He make victim. <sighs> he make children victim. Yeah. Yeah. R. Kelly wrote. I believe I can fly. He did. That will always be his past. That will always be his past. Mm. That will always be his redemption, just like Jesus walks is for Kanye. No matter how crazy they say he is, you talk about Jesus walking and he, he got grace. So 100 Same years thing, from now. Well, I believe I can fly will be saying... In a cryo tank near you. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay. 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 You no. won't be hearing nice and slow when you're fucking frozen and shit. I mean, but Usher had a whole resurgence. He just did the Super Bowl. He just did the Super Bowl. Like, he just made history. They say he made history. And then he ran to Bali to go meet with the pedophile. <laughs> Russell Simmons. I was wondering why he left. Like At, was, he announced his bitch, and then he ran to his nigga. That, uh, to get married, and then and then yeah. runs to his nigga to a state yeah. with no extradition treaty. It does seem and like and then came back defending the Diddy. Yeah, the like yeah, almost like he went out there to look and see how's life out here. Like, yeah. is this? And mind you, all of this happened after Justin Bieber got busted sucking. Odell Beckham penis in an open club God. with Trey Songz on the lookout. Coming up with his mouth wet with seminal fluid on his oh, chin. Oh man, oh, oh, you should see Terrence Gangster face. We have Usher uh, to thank for that. <laughs> shit, man. We so, have Usher to thank for that. Seminal fluid. Okay. We have uh, his mouth was wet. Damn, damn. Okay. You want to look? Okay. It's disgusting. All right, all right. Did you eat? Shit. All right, all right, yeah. all right. All right. So, so, yeah. so for the next one. One gotta go in all their music. To learning how to wipe your mouth. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay, shit. Somebody get that boy a napkin. He's no working diddy. a relationship. No diddy. Oh, Hashtag shit. Hashtag no Hashtag diddy. No diddy. All right. One gotta go in all their works. We have... <laughs> We have Johnny Gill. Johnny Gill. We have Bobby Brown. Johnny Gill. Johnny Gill. Johnny Gill. Jail Levert and Keith Sweat. Keith Sweat is a crackhead, yet he made a difference. Jail Levert is deceased, and he Bro. still is and forever will be the teddy bear. It was of a nigga. Uh, Bobby Brown. That's Bobby Brown. That's the king. That's the king of R&B. When he used to say it, so I believe it. Johnny Gill. Uh, were you singing more Bobby Johnny Brown songs? Johnny Gill is the Cato Kalen of R&B. Oh, man. Um, damn it. Okay. Yes. You know where he was living. On some George Hamilton shit, he was living in Eddie Murphy guest house for yeah. about 15 years, just like Cato Kalen. We heard stories. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, yeah. yeah that's, that's, that's OJ. See, I've been um, to the jam sessions when Rick James was still alive. I know what them niggas did. Johnny Gill, you don't want to say he read... Re Invigorated new edition, like he my, 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 yeah. my, like, my, man, my, like, my, my. I'm just saying when he, he came back and illuminating. <laughs> my, my, my. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my. <laughs> oh shit. Um damn Johnny Gill. Okay, okay. Uh sweeter than a Tootsie roll. Um and press out like fresh cotton pants. See a sucker to be exact. <laughs> but it, in the group LSG. Would you say Johnny Gill was like one of the breakout stars of that group? Uh, like when they try to do that. I can't even talk about it. It makes me think about Gerald's fucking memorial service in oh. Cleveland after he died. 
fucking Keith high on crack and Johnny running around looking for a penis. <laughs> picture this, picture that. Mike Tyson uh, threatening to beat up everybody because niggas was sitting in a seat. Mickey Howard acting a fool even though she couldn't help but mention to everyone that she was still the mother of Michael Jackson's son. Like, it was a oh, fucking wow. vanity bonfire. What was this funeral at? Where, 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 where? In Cleveland at the convention center. That was the day they presented the sign in, you know, Gerald Levert Way, downtown. Yes. Yeah. His street. That was I sat there and cried. I man. just cried. I oh, cried man. all day. Um, I you know, two days after he passed away, I got a phone call from the Palm in Philadelphia asking me to confirm my dinner reservations with Gerald Levert. Wow. We were going to pick up the ring from Tiffany's and he was going to propose and we were going to have dinner. Going to propose. And I had to cancel my reservations because he was dead. Wow. And you um, you had a voicemail from him. Yeah. Uh, that you got kind of almost after the situation. Mm. Man. Man. Again, God bless the dead. Uh, Jag, you already know. Uh, to the teddy bear. You already know. Still I, G. Mm. And then I married that little fucker named Gerald. And he blew up my car. <laughs> That's how much that Life. shit was in me that I just took any Gerald. Like, uh, you know, I took any. Life I went a, from a teddy bear <laughs> to a fucking grizzly bear. Did I know? Life has a funny... <laughs> Life has a funny As way a of wobble, uh, or that, uh, funny that way Google, of uh, that Google wobble. You know, Terrence, that's why I missed your party. Yeah, oh shit, uh, my my that nigga had me in the street. Oh man, Terrence, I was I was getting ready to get my hair cut and everything. How far were you from Dallas during that? Like I was in Dallas at the barber shop with his no no on the way back. How far did y'all get before this? You know the the shit in the car. Oh, we barely got out of town before he started oh, threatening to shit. shoot everybody. Damn. <laughs> anyway. I got five pounds of crawfish sitting there with some beignets from Crawl Daddy Kitchen on Mansfield. Oh man. How the hell you be upset with that in your car? See. Hmm. Doing Mardi Gras season. So Solar was in the car too, though. So I mean, what's wrong with my nephew in the car? No, you say you got the crawfish and Solar. You got to, you know, pick got and choose. crawfish, Solar, beignets. <laughs> you know, yeah, couple guns, <laughs> couple guns, quarter yeah. pound of weed. Yeah, we're talking like twelve midnight, one quarter hour. pound of weed. Oh shit, y'all smoking? See that? That sounds like a nerve. It sounds like some nerves. No, that sounds like that nigga. <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> okay. We, yeah, we one gotta go. We, we we still playing the game. We still playing the Jail game. Jail Johnson gotta uh, go. We, we gotta go. Yeah. Uh, one down, Shay. Who is it? Uh, Let me see that. Yeah, bring it back up. Oh. One gotta go when all their music, all their works, all their talent does not exist. Can we pretend this is drink champs and I just take a sip? Oh no, no, no. This this is a different game. One has to go. That it ain't even gotta. One has to go. Let me look. Um, let's think about for it. For me? Now, let's think about it. For me? Yes. For me. For you. This is for Not you. Not for the world, but for me. This for is you. a selfish answer, correct? Out of Michael Jackson and Prince. My o only my opinion matters. Yes. Only Michael your... Jackson. Michael Jackson goes. Has to go. Now, think about what you're saying. I know. Because <laughs> you're talking Jackson 5. I know. You're talking ABC. I'm talking about a victim. You're talking about a victim. If Michael Jackson had never become what he became, he wouldn't have had to have been sexually abused and victimized by everybody that his father set him up with. He wouldn't have had to have been groomed by Diana Ross. He wouldn't have had to have pretend to like Mickey Howard because he didn't want to tell anybody he was struggling with his sexuality and got her pregnant and then had a child. And oh. He wouldn't have had to have worried about them trying to kill him and playing it off in that Pepsi commercial when they burned up his Jerry Curl and made fun of it. He wouldn't have had to have pretend that Quincy Jones wasn't literally marketing his asshole starting from the age of 15. He wouldn't have had to pretend like I'm his success was his doom. It was the world's fucking hope diamond, but it was his doom. 
Um, of course. Michael Jackson being Michael Jackson is Michael Jackson being a victim. Prince, it was something different. Without question. Very different. Without Prince question. Rogers Nelson was so much braver than Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson bought, like, stolen Prince's Don't Prince let the catalog. computer. It's cool. Wait a minute. Oh, ahead, it's please. cool to get on the computer, but don't let the computer get on you. It's cool to use the computer, but don't let the computer use you. There is a war going on. The battlefield is the mind mm. and the prize is the soul. Mm. Who said that? Oh, you talking Gandhi? Prince Rogers Nelson. Oh, okay, okay. Damn, Prince. As um, much as I love Michael Jackson, as much as I adore the story of him scooping the the Beatles catalog right out from under Paul McCartney that was after he instructed him to do it. All of that was fabulous, but those were reactions of a victim. They weren't reactions of a trailblazer. They were reactions of a victim. But Jack, Jack, Prince, Jack, Jack, Jack you Prince Rogers fucking Nelson. Mm. Four foot eleven in high heels with a perm. With a with a mean jump shot. <laughs> Steal mm. your bitch or your nigga. Or your nigga. Do you have both? He'll take them all. Don't Michael Jackson, listen to me. Wait, you're Sexy as he ever was, wasn't keeping in the closet with that goddamn fucking artillery hunt. Oh, Naomi God. Campbell. Oh, oh, oh. Sexy as he ever was. Wait. Let me tell you about Prince Rogers Nelson. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> I knew a girl named Nikki, I guess you could say she was a sex fiend. I met her in a hotel lobby, masturbating with the magazine. Remember. Said, how'd you like to spend some time? And I could not resist when I saw little Nikki grind. But uh, but up. Uh, Mm. And Nick, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Ow! No. Don't Hold mind. up. She took me to her castle. I just couldn't believe my eyes. She had so many vices, everything that money could buy. Mm. She said, sign your name on the dotted line. Just like a recording contract. Mm. He, ch he changed his name. Just like a recording contract. The lights went out. Then Nikki started to cry. But Nikki. Hey, shout out Nikki. Hold up. Nikki. Oh, wait a minute. Shout out Nikki. Hold up. Shout out Nikki. Woke up the next morning. Come on now. And Nikki wasn't there. Mm. I looked all around and all I saw was a phone number on the stairs. It said, thank you for a funky time. Mm. Call me up whenever you want to mm. cry. Oh, Nikki, 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 you dirty bitch. God damn, Nikki. I Shit. wish I could remember all the lyrics to Bad Like That. Oh, I wish Wait. I could remember all the lyrics to I mean, Bad Like That. Can't remember the Michael Jackson lyrics. <laughs> yes, you can. But hey, Ayasha. Uh-uh. I just want to love and kiss. Said I wish that I could be with you tonight. You give me butterflies. Inside, inside. Come on. Come on, man. Again. That wasn't written by Michael Jackson, though. That was written by Marsha Ambrosia. Produced Marcia by Dre Ambrosia. and Vidal for Touch of Jazz Studios, funded by Will Smith and Underground Productions. Overbrook Productions. How do you know all the credits? Mm. Shit, okay, well. No, no, wait, Jack. Wait, and you're saying Thriller doesn't exist. Thriller. <coughs> hey, Jack, Thriller. Thriller was a video. I mean, it's an Purple album. Rain was a fucking movie. That's true. Uh, a video uh, versus a movie. Uh, Moonwalker was a movie. 
<laughs> it was a dance in a movie. A movie. He's in a movie. Nah, night. Purple Rain. Dove, doves cry. Come on, man. Come on now. If you don't like. Come on, man. The words you're living in. Come on. Take a look around. Hold on, I lost my earring. Leech got friends. Come on. Come, lady. Bum, bum. For a friendly word. Bum, bum. Call Jag up. Take the phone on. Ah! It's all I heard. Oh, I'm man. not gonna let the elevator bring us down. The, oh no, mm, let's mm, go, mm. go crazy. I'm jagging. Come on, man. I'm jagging. Come on, man. I'm sorry. No. Oh yeah, no, no, that, that's it. I uh, did just, you, just you, leave me standing alone in the world. It's so cold. So cold. Maybe I'm just too demanding. Come on now. Or maybe I'm just like my father, too bold. Maybe I'm just like my mother. She's what? She's never said, and she's never satisfied. God damn. No matter how many times I make that fucking lamb. Come on. She always asked me about that goddamn mint jelly. She just came, she just, God damn it. Hey, we got, we got, we got young men in the room. Uh, Hey. Uh, do you understand? Hey, the, young man. You understand the, the, they say that about me on the YouTube. Do I do, do I look like a man to you? Oh, damn. Damn. They say, they say that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, the mods are here. Oh, the mods, the mods are Because, you know, Prince over. Uh, we're, we're here. Are you ready? Are you guys ready? Yeah, we getting ready. We just uh, official time right at five o'clock um, Pacific Standard. Absolutely, yeah, we'll be get, sending you the ready. link yeah, in the next fifteen minutes. Yeah, tell them get ready. Tell them get ready. Okay. All right. I'll All let right. everyone know. All right, baby. All right, tell them get ready. Okay. All right. Video, movie. Yeah. 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 It, 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 baby. All right. Love you. Video, movie. Yeah. Under the cherry moon. Y'all nobody fucking know what that movie was about. We watched it. True. We watched um, it. What are your thoughts on Prince? And Thriller, amazing. Guess what kills it? Quincy Jones' involvement. Guess what saved it? Quincy Jones' involvement. Clarence Avant. Oh. Genius. What? Quincy yeah, Jones was trying to tank the Thriller tour because Michael Jackson had controlling share in earning. That's why he called him greedy and started talking shit about him. It was Clarence Avant that came in and created the funding for the Thriller tour. And after Clarence Avant did what he did, mm. the Thriller tour is still listed as one of the top five grossing sellout fucking concerts of all time. Wow. And yet it almost didn't happen because he was a victim. Wow. Um, Prince ain't got those kind of stories about his tours. With Prince changing his name because of the label trying to own the, the name You mean Prince. getting rid of his getting, name? Getting rid of his name. So that he could... Why do you think I do the shit that I do? No, I know. He he, he was you before... He, he was, was my mentor. Yeah, he was you before you. He was my mentor. See, so, man. I can go on my phone right now. I showed you yesterday pictures of me at First Avenue. Wow. Yeah, you, you are letting go. You are Where Prince down. Rogers Nelsons used to buy me drinks. Oh, wow. All right, Jack, last one. Last one. Okay. One got to go. OD, can we uh, pull up the screen? Uh, for the boys in the room, one got to go. And all the music. The bitch with the deflatable ass. Oh, shit. God damn. Uh, Lil Mrs. Kim, Petty. Lil Kim and Nicki Minaj. And all the Mrs. music. Mrs. Petty. Damn. Jack, all the music? Mrs. Petty. Shit. The wife of a nigga named Zoo. Damn. A level three sex offender. Oh, okay, 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 God. Who likes to bring a knife to bed with him. Oh, shit. And keep it wet with blood. Oh, God, God. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, man, okay. Nikki, uh, uh. Hey. If Nikki wasn't around, there wouldn't be no bars. There wouldn't be no bars. And they some of the worst motherfucking fans in the world, I would know. I've contended with them. Man. They left me alone. Mm. Hopefully for the better. Nicki Minaj, Anika, whatever the fuck her name is. Oh, Nicki Minaj. Predator motherfucking protector, projector. Predator protector, that's a tongue twister. Say that three times fast. 
Predator protector, predator protector, predator protector. That's Jack. <laughs> Only Jack could do it. Only Jack could do it. God damn. Mind over matter. Say it like you mean it then. God damn. How the fuck is your mind when you go to sleep with that wild animal next to you at night? Oh, that's right. He don't sleep next to you no more. You moved into another house and you just feed him goddamn sex workers so he can get away with being rough. Why do you think she went from Meek Mill to, to that uh, familiarity? She's looking for a bodyguard. Mm. She found one. Mm. You know, some niggas, you know, when they're naming their alter egos like animals and shit, they pick one. This nigga's name is Zoo. Zoo. I, I don't know, that's kind of what funny. is a zoo? It's wild. It's, I, I just think a wild Now, animal. what is a zoo? Uh, animal. It is a construct filled with all kinds of shit. Yeah. That nigga calls yeah. himself Zoo. Yeah. He yeah. ain't one animal. He's all of them. Yeah, he's the whole motherfucking compound. Shit. Fucking. Okay. How the fuck do you cro- procreate? Oh, okay. How do you? Mm. I would not be able to sleep next to that nigga. Like, young man. Young man. Young man. You get involved with this crazy bitch, right? Shout out, JC. Pussy good, but you get involved with this crazy bitch and she know how to run credit cards. Oh, and she is gay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Crazy and Y'all rocking. Now, she has a reputation mm-hmm. for um, cutting off niggas nuts while they sleep. Whoa, a reputation? She Whoa. got a reputation for this Damn. shit. Damn. Okay. But she got, she running credit cards. So the money and the coming, pussy good. Yeah, the money coming in, pussy good. The pussy good, good. Mm. I mean, oh, there. How good is? It? Apparently, it's good because she has a reputation for cutting niggas' balls off. Shit. And she's still fucking. Shit. So the question is: Is this who goes to sleep first, you or her? <laughs> ah, that's a good question. <laughs> who goes to sleep first, uh, the ball snipper or you? <laughs> yeah, the sleep with one eye open. Shit. <laughs> That's her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Shout out to JC. I Dillman. guess that's why Nicki Minaj bought a new house. Oh. So she could leave her zoo husband, the level three sex offender there, no, and, for, and, it, and feed him sex workers for his appetite. Yeah, for the kids that don't know, when you're a level three sex offender, you have to list where, you're, where you stay. For life. You have to stay where you stay. For Halloween, you have to stay inside. For life. Uh, when the kids come knocking on the door, you cannot be out. You got to stay inside. And um, I wish this could be my predator for life. Man, shout out Danny Glover. Shit. For life. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> and he going to stay on that fucking registry long as I draw breath. Damn. People keep forgetting that Onika's uh, personal manager and mentor is Diddy. People keep forgetting that he created Onika to replace Little Kim so he didn't have to be forced with facing Biggie's legacy all the time because he knew what he had stolen. Mm. Mm. Man. I didn't know that. He created Onika to destroy Kim so he didn't have to face the fact that he was living on a young man's life and legacy. Why give her to Gucci, man? Why give her to Lil Wayne? Like, why let her leave the East, the East victims. Coast? Both oh, victims. Wow. speak each other's language. <laughs> well, okay. Well, there you go. Um, Guess that's why he sold her catalog. <laughs> all, got, all gotta go. <laughs> all gotta go. <laughs> and why? No limit. Concert tickets is $190 and yours is $145. Mm. Why is that, Onika? Why is some washed up fucking rats? Mm. Ticket price is $50 higher than yours. Mm. You can't sell it. Mm. Beyonce can sell it. Yeah. Fans don't buy tour tickets. I'm I'm just trying to figure out, Onika. You did all of this shit and you can't. You, you, you can't bring in more money to no limit. Yeah. Shout out to Terrence Gaines the in the building. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Shout I'm out sorry. Hey. Yeah, shout out to Terrence Gaines. Man. Am New I saying Orleans. Too Shout out New Orleans dollar. in the building. Shout out New Orleans. Am in the I building. telling the truth? <laughs> shout out New Orleans in the building. <laughs> Nigga, we talking about the boot. Come on, man. Mm. 
<laughs> Nikki's on tour right now, though. She's trying. She's trying. Her yeah. asshole been on tour all this time. Oh, shit. She oh, might as God. well try it out. God damn. Okay, 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 okay. Um, Jaguar right. One got to go. Uh, for those that want to follow you, Jag, the Jaginator, um, we want them to subscribe right now to wherever they need to subscribe to. Where they need to go. Tell them where they need to go. Go to the liquor store and bring me back. <laughs> Some peach moonshine. And I'll tell you exactly where I'm at. There you go. Simple as that. Simple as that. Catch up when you catch it. I'm jagging, bitches. No, but for real, though. My name is Jaguar Wright, and honestly, if you just Google me, it'll tell you where to go. There you go. I could tell you, but I think the the scavenger hunt will be so much more better for y'all. If they go to YouTube and type in Jaguar Wright, how often do you go live? I don't know. But you may catch you may catch her on a live, and she do respond to comments. Keep your notifications on. Yeah. I know plenty of people that do, and guess what? To all of you that do, fuck you. Oh, okay. Keep right. screen recording me, you suck ass fucking bitches. Right. Sitting here waiting for me to take a shit so you can figure out what to do with your life. All right. Well, it must suck. It must suck to have to wait for another motherfucking human being to move so you can figure out what to do with your day. I know bitches that get online before they wash their ass, brush their teeth, say so, and stay online for 19 hours to make Leora Cohen and the Luciferian Rothschild family rich while they laugh at you dumb niggas in Ibiza while you sit here talking about a bitch who you don't know who don't get no fuck about you all day long for chump change. Damn. Well, okay. Sold me out for chicken change. They told me today. Sponsored by they Kyle had Roy. it. I love your makeup today. Shout out Angel White in the building. I am the Angel White. You girl, you got some cookies. Shout out. What kind of cake you got? Come on now. A lemon cream cake. You got me. Hey, and, 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 I felt like you were a lemon. Yeah, and Angel, and Angel. Did you if, taste any of the food I brought? No, she just she got here. But Angel, if ever you don't make edible cookies, at least make a rum cake one day. At least throw a little rum. Um, rum cake. Yeah, at least a little rum, rum cake. Rum cake. At least a little rum cake. Yeah, at least a little rum cake might be crazy one day. Shout out I Angel's like, Cookies. You know what? All my real life Street Stars t-shirts was on that truck that they oh, hijacked when I got arrested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everything. We, all my clothes was on that truck. Everything. We, we sending you a care drug. package. Yeah, we, got, we, got, yeah, we yeah. sending you a care package. By the way, did y'all try out the wraps? No. I gave you the Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. No one smokes, really, um, unfortunately. No, Monty. Monty smokes, but... You know. Yeah, he, he was asking. Okay, yeah, all right. No, I no, got no. colors right. No, 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 Shout no. out to colors. So mind you, everything you bring us, we don't open. These, no, oh. no. These are souvenirs. Oh, well, I got these some are more stories. Yeah, I'm about to say you gotta give us the, some. It's not, to, the, it's not the banana cream. It's okay, the yeah. blue gelato. Okay, you gotta give us some that, that we could use, but everything else we put to the side to where we have a wait a minute. People wait come minute. and bring us things, we keep them. Young untouched. man. Hey, young man. JC in the building. Could you do me a favor? Because you get that cup on that shelf. It, oh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Were we at the end of the list? We're at the end of the list. We're, we're about right, to close out. We're about to close out. All right, before we close out. Yes. I want you to tell everybody about this cup. All right, so um, if y'all can't see, uh, it was the Real Life Productions. Um, it, we're, we're, I'm going to tell you about the club. I want to tell you what, um, uh, what, is it, what does it say? We got... We got De Haven. Is that what I say? We got De Haven. We got De Haven. Uh, De Haven had just agreed to come and to, interview with us for Keep It a Bean podcast. For Keep It a Bean podcast. And the date says 123. Right. January 23rd. His, his home got broken into. His assistant got chased down. And before I went into the hospital. Oh, I didn't know that. Before I went into Parkland. I didn't know that. But with that date, it says 123. Jaguar came in. Um, Keep It a Bean podcast. He had just broke the internet. Uh, doing a million views on Real Life Channel within In three weeks. Within three weeks. And um, I didn't get to go to your party. Yeah. We, in January, we were celebrating. I was going to look so cute. I had a tuxedo. No, and honestly, we looked at that as a turning point for Real Life. We said, man, we're breaking one million views in three weeks. This is a turning point. And then... Uh, no, because you guys had just did The One-Eyed Freak. And he did a million in six weeks. Yes. And I and did a million and three. You crashed it. So we were like, oh, shit. 
Jack came through. We spoke to D Haven. No, he had spoke to Corrupt. Uh, she had brought the souvenir, and she had said, I'm coming bearing gifts. Uh, why was it Chicago, though? What, what was the thing about Chicago? Well, that was the airport. Yeah. Oh, my God. Fuck. You just, the viral footage fuck, from the yeah, airport. Yeah. I bought uh, that before. Yeah, I, yeah, the, I bought that, yeah. Man, we, right this, before. This whole, cup has a, this whole cup has a story. Papa. But with that being said. Hey. Oh. oh. Hey, God, look at you. Hey. <laughs> We're the, hey, Ann, wait a minute. Look, it's the Mod Squad. Oh, hey, Mod Squad. Oh, I got the lights behind me. I look, I look like I'm on the couch. I look like I'm on the couch. Terrence. Now, wait a minute. No, these wait, wait, wait. are my YouTube wait, wait, wait. mods. Now, wait a minute. This wait is the Mod Squad. Wait a minute. Now, you can't be in bed now. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> I ain't in bed. I'm waiting for the meeting. You, you just in bed waiting for the meeting, though. I mean, wait a minute. No, I'm laying on my door. Okay, yeah, you got to lean. Shit, lean up like you're excited. Yeah. I, okay, yeah, I got to That's why I was calling. Is the body going to stay on? Is the body going to stay on? <laughs> Will the, is that Nita? It must be Nita. Is she eating crabs? Yeah. Man, listen, she Because I'm a choker. She in she been, No, she been no, making no, crabs no, and putting it on a no, cam. I was, I was calling to see if we got to look presentable for this beat. I mean, you're going to be on camera. Okay, so that's what I was calling for. Okay. Uh, okay, so, right. Nita, wait a minute. I want to introduce you guys to Terrence. Gangsta Williams, my friend. Yeah, uh, these are my mods from YouTube. This is the Mod Squad. Terrence, uh, come come close us out. Terrence has a YouTube channel. Come sit down, this close is Birdman's out. brother. Uh, oh, okay. Just, no, no, just come and tell him, hey man, uh, uh, real life man, you in the building, one gotta go, man. Just tell him, just close us out, man. I let I let you close us out. Okay, guys, this is Terrence. These are my mods. Okay, y'all deep too. Y'all in the building. <laughs> Why wow, this Terrence Gangster with you, aka OG Giggity, aka Mr. Answer Right Back, aka the People's Champ, Terrence Civilian with you. I'm hanging out with the queen of YouTube, Jaguar Right. One gotta go. Wah. <laughs>